Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad to hear this morning. Got a big show lined up. Some special guests here that drove a long way just to be on Panhandle Outdoors and share some good news with you. Let's get started with our weather. Brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. Drew Pollard and his hardworking crew taking care of everyday comfort needs. First thing, calling for rain. So uh, just be, if you got outdoor activities, just make sure you have some good rain gear and all. But hopefully uh, uh, it's going to clear on up pretty soon. But it looks like rain coming on for the weekend, but that's way off. So we'll, it'll change two or three times. We'll talk about it later. A uh, high today, 70, low, only 64. Get this. Water temperature at the end of the pier. 66 degrees. We're almost going to have a drum roll on that, folks. That's a big deal. That's, a, that's the warmest it's been since last October. So the Spanish, uh, they're, they've already sent some scouts. I've already heard of a scout coming up here uh, in St. Joe Bay and also in Apalachicola Bay and one of them way to Chalkatchee Bay this morning. So the Spanish are, are getting close. The river readings brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola, good folks down there. Looking at the Apalachicola, Blunstown is reading a 9.9 .9 this morning. It sort of jumped up over the weekend, but it's going to start dropping out today. Take a look at the Choctahatchee at Careville. It's reading a 7.2 this morning. It peaked out a little bit over the weekend. Also, we had rising water on the weekend, but now it looks like we're having a, having a dropping on, us on this Tuesday morning here. Marine forecast, south-southeast at about 11. Let's take a break. We'll come back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back. You recognize the special guest here we've had before, General McDaniel. Welcome back to Panhandle Thank Outdoors. Thank you for having us. Swivel Sisters Fishing Club. Man, y'all have been doing such an amazing job with this tournament every year. Thank you. Thank you. Bayou Bash. It's uh, here. The Bayou Bash, and it gets, it seems like it's bigger and bigger. And, how long have you been doing it now? So this will be our fifth year wow. uh, in charge of the Bayou Bash, but it's probably about the 27th overall since uh, it was started back in the early 90s. Y'all started doing just, you know, but it's official now. Oh we, yeah, we official. We always got together and fished, and it, it is so cool. What's the background of it? Tell us how it started. So the background started with the Moores, uh, Clint and uh, Mark Moore in the backyard with Bet and each other's brothers, and uh, since then it's just evolved and. <laughs> family, friends, and now we've kind of taken it to the next level. And you know, it's well, just an exciting event. Every time you tell me that, if you know Clint and Mark, you can picture them in their backyard bedding <laughs> and fussing and saying, my fish are bigger. I, I can just see that. They still it. do it today. It's just, <laughs> it's just fun seeing them there. So I try to get an interview. We, we cover it every year. It's just, uh, is it always the first weekend in, Mar in May? I mean? Always first weekend in May. Uh, we're hoping that, that way everybody will remember when it is. Okay. Uh, so this year will be Saturday, May the 4th, with our captain's party on Friday, May the 3rd. And where will it be held? So uh, it's at Salinas Park Bayside, um, down in the south end of Gulf County. Uh, some people call that Indian Pass. Some people call that the Cape. We just call it Salinas Park. You know, it is called. It's right, <laughs> right sort of in between. It's a tweener in right. between all the places. Kind of that. in the triangle of Simmons yeah. Bayou, yeah. Indian Pass, and Cape San Blas. I've always been thankful that the uh, county bought that property years ago and, and made it a park. Yeah, it's a beautiful property. They've yeah. actually put in a walking trail. I know. Uh, so the park will be open that day. Uh, parking will be on the beach side. Mm -hmm. But people play pickleball all day long over there. Mm -hmm. We have fishing tournament going on. And there's a nature trail, so yeah. it's a really nice park to be at. That's where it's happening now, I'm telling you. And are you going to have food and all that? Or? Food, we've actually paired up with uh, the South uh, Volunteer Fire Department. It's right across the street yeah. from the park. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're actually going to be doing some food for us this year. Uh, so they'll be on site with that. And then, of course, uh, we have our drinks sponsored by Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. They'll be out there. So just real fun event, family event. And we've got some changes this year to make it more family detailed and those mm -hmm. details are coming up here with some other guests that'll be on okay and and uh personally though you don't get to fish it do you i don't get to <laughs> fish it you stay pretty busy <laughs> i'll be running around uh making sure everything's taken care of how many la ladies does it take y'all to put this on i see a big um, group of them yes we have an amazing group of ladies all the swivel sisters are in attendance to help uh, we have right at 68 members and uh, they're all running around 
doing some small part to help out in a big way. And what always strikes me, I mean, they're so friendly and outgoing and helpful. They and are. What can I go? And they everywhere are. you go, what can I help you with and all? And they're a mess. I, I marvel at, at I mean, this is a big tournament. Yes, sir. And I marvel at how well organized it is and the participation. You yes. get a lot of people in it. Yes, sir. When we started five years ago, we had 72 people sign up. And we stuck with it, and last year we had 372 yeah. people sign there up. There you go. So uh, the good thing about this tournament, though, is you don't have to fish in St. Joe. You can fish anywhere you want to fish. You can fish in Bay County, Gulf County, Franklin County. You can fish from the shore. Yeah. You can fish from a kayak, a boat, a dock. You know, yeah. wherever your favorite honey hole is, that's where you can fish. That's the beauty of this tournament. I mean, you don't have to take a lie detector test and weigh in. And, I mean, it's, it's really good stuff. They're just, they're just good down home folks like us, and they just trust, and everybody does it right. And, but you just go fishing any way you want yep. to. And it's all inshore, so yeah. we're targeting uh, trounder, flounder, trout, and reds. Okay. Uh, we have an inshore slam, and then this year we have been requested to bring back the mystery fish. Okay. So uh, we added it up the other day. We have over 20,000 in cash and prizes to be given out that day. No way. Yeah, so 20,000. Um, payouts are guaranteed. Uh, there's nothing for percentages. And then of course for the kids, they get a cash payout. And then they also get some other things that uh, Christy will talk about here in a little while. Okay. And, and the big thing, uh, e each year y'all give like scholarships or something? Mm -hmm. you? The whole, when we took this tournament over, we decided that you know we wanted to try to get more kids involved, so the money goes towards a scholarship, and then it also mm -hmm. goes towards funding our, the Swivel Sisters, so that we can continue to put on events. And um, the scholarship is geared to a student that is going to anything related to water. They can get their captain's license, marine biology, environmental science, um, and so we have given out one captain's license already, and then we have three others on scholarships still. Um, so it's just been a, a real good thing for the community, but something to let everybody know about mm -hmm. the scholarship mm -hmm. is it used to be just for uh, Gulf and Franklin County students, mm -hmm. but now we've opened it. It's still open to those students because mm -hmm. it's in that area, mm -hmm. but we've also want to let our, our participants know if you ever fish the tournament, doesn't matter what year, you are eligible for the scholarship. So whether you're from Bay County, Calhoun oh, cool. County, Georgia, Alabama, because we have so many people coming in town to fish this tournament. Mm -hmm. um, we have a ton of people from Bay County now fishing, and, and we are, you know, just thrilled about that. Yes. But we want to let everybody know that not only do you ha can you live in Gulf and Franklin to win the scholarship, if you have fished our tournament now, you can win the scholarship. Is this not cool, so, folks? I mean, all this fun fishing and open anywhere, and then the money helps on scholarships. I mean, don't get any better than that. Let's take a break, be right back. Okay, welcome back. We always talking about a special guest, and they're always special. I love it when the Swivel Sisters come on, and Kendra's been coming for a while, but Kendra, I'm going to let you introduce this lady to you right <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? Who, who is this she? This is my older sister, Christy Griffin. Uh, she lives up in Tallahassee right now, but she is a Swivel Sister. And uh, she's known as Christy Mack, and I'm Kendra Mack. <laughs> Kendra Mack and Christy Mack. How do you like that? <laughs> I said, I know more about fishing, but she always catches the bigger fish. So if you're ever on our Facebook, she's the one holding the big reds. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes, I can catch them. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Well, listen, I know you're down helping out. You're going to be helping out also. Corda, what's going to be, what is Kendra assigned to you? What's your... <laughs> I am, I am over the, all raffles. Um, so it's a huge, um, as she said, the Bayou Bass is a huge event. And part of that is the raffles. Um, it's, um, we have, we also do a silent auction, but the raffles will be selling on Friday night. So if you're p participating in the tournament, um, you can come on Friday night and, and purchase raffle tickets. That way you don't, if you're standing in line mm -hmm. during the um, weigh-in on, on Saturday, you don't have to do that. However, we also do a silent auction, which we started last year, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a huge event. Um, we've, we have multiple people in the community that donate to the silent auction, so we'll also have that. But we normally do $10, $5, $1 raffles, so we have some great prizes. And then the silent auction, you'll just walk around and... Um, you know, look at the, the different things right. like a normal silent auction. Um, we also do a um, 
card shark. It's called card shark. We kind of named it last year because it's a guaranteed payout of a thousand dollars that we'll do, and then we also do a 50/50 in which we split that with the, you'll split we split that with the with the club. So um, the participant will get 50 percent, and the club will get 50 percent. Um, and this year we're gonna this year with the kids, um, you know. As Kinder stated earlier, the, the tournament we want to build on getting the kids involved, um, more women involved, things like that. But every um, fish that the kid turns in, they'll get one raffle ticket. So they don't have to pay for those, they, they will actually get those. And if they turn in a mystery fish, I think that's correct, they would also get another. So they could get up to four raffle tickets of their own and we'll have special raffles for them mm -hmm. um, that, that would be kind of geared towards kids. Um, but it's a huge, it, the raffles are huge. Um, they're, you know, you get to come out and kind of walk around and look at them. Mm -hmm. um, people love that. They'll be set up the day of the tournament. Um, we don't set them up before, so they'll be set up on, on, on that Saturday. Um, we, we do it pretty early in the morning, so when the event opens, they should be all out ready to go. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to you participate. You can just come, as fishers, you come down and buy a raffle ticket and be a part of the Oh, and that, that's the beauty of it. Yes. We talked about that last year. A lot yeah. of people just came down and bought raffle tickets and watched so, the way in. Yeah, so uh, we actually have a band that'll be playing starting mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. And they'll play right up until we start making all of our raffle announcements. Mm -hmm. uh, we have games set up for the kids. And the volunteer fire department is actually going to have all their rescue equipment set up so that the kids can see that and check it out and see what that's all about. Good deal, good deal. And the uh, the raffles, though, that... that that's always fun because it's really some good quality stuff. I, oh. I, I remember last year, you had some quality stuff. Yeah, we have awesome raffles. I mean, we have coolers, we give away reels and rods yeah. and... And the thing is, yeah. it's not a general raffle. You get to go and put your ticket yeah. in the bucket next to the raffle you want to win. So if there's a nice rod there you want, yeah. you can put 20 tickets in that one bucket. Yeah. You don't have to have everything. Yeah. And I'm guilty of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> really, you got better odds, you know, but it makes a lot of sense. The bucket is right next to the item. Anyway. Yes, right there. We'll have it. You'll have it flagged. So if you buy, you know, a ten dollar raffle, you'll know where to go. If you buy a five dollar or a one dollar, um, and we'll also normally do like bags where you can buy like uh, twenty raffles for, you know, twenty one dollar raffles for a special amount of money. So, but it's a great. Um, it's. I mean, it's really. That's probably the biggest. I'd say yeah. money maker of the event as part of that um, is, is the raffles themselves. And it takes, a, a as we said earlier, a, a big team to put that on and have <laughs> a lot of great uh, great Swivel Sisters that work with me to help me with that. I'm not doing it by myself at all. So yeah. it takes a lot of work, especially starting now up yeah. until the time we go. We'll, we'll be full gear of collecting and, and getting the raffles ready. And Kendra, and if, gave, Kendra gave you some good instructions, didn't she? Yes, <laughs> she does. And if and if anybody, I'm sure Kendra will go over this, but if anybody would like to participate in donations to our raffles, a si the silent mm -hmm. auction, anything you might would want to give away, um, Kendra will tell you later. You know how she, how how we might can get that from you. If um, that's a great yeah. idea. Who are some of your big sponsors? Who I know there's some different people helping all. Who are some of your sponsors? That, that... Uh, well, St. Joe Shrimp is a huge sponsor. Mm -hmm. um, we have several different um, businesses, uh, M&B Engineering, they're sponsoring the mullet toss, which Gina and I will talk about here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Um, we have uh, <clears throat> the uh, Blue Water Outriggers, um, Bex Beach Marina, Yamaha, they team up together and do a huge sponsorship for us. Um, if he's watching, we're trying to get a motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's watching. laughs> Um, so just, uh, there's so many to list, I would need my sheet of paper, oh, okay. uh, but without those sponsors and donations, it wouldn't be possible to have such a nice event for our community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have some pictures here. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be on a monitor. So tell us, uh, talk about these pictures. What about this one? <laughs> Who is that? Um, <laughs> she was kissing that fish for luck to hope she'd win the big red. Um, that was a nice one that she turned in. Now, uh, just as a reminder on our reds that some people don't know on the red. So all of the fish you win by weight, then length, and then time of weigh in if the, there's a tiebreaker. Right. So the earlier you weigh in, the better chance. But for reds, it's a little different. We go by the number of spots. Okay. So you may have a red that weighs two pounds, but you've got 10 spots. And I may have a uh, red that weighs seven pounds with one spot. 
you're actually going to win. So okay, I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. So when you're out fishing, it's not for the reds. It's not about weight. It's about mm -hmm. spots. And we actually have a payout if you ever break the record. The record for the Bayou Bash with a number of spots is 101. No way. Yes. Took forever to count them. 101. So uh, we have a special payout. It's sponsored by the Swivel Sisters. Uh, if anybody breaks that, you'll get an additional cash prize. Oh, cool. Here's your here's a the little poster here. This is cool. Yep. Um, Lisa is our social media expert. Uh, mm -hmm. She does a really great job with her graphics and getting her information out. Um, and while I'm on that, uh, it, we have Bayou Bash PSJ on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we also have our website. It's swif swivelsisters.org. You can go on there to our event site, mm -hmm. and you can go ahead and download the pre-registration form and look at all the rules and details. Good deal, good deal. And okay. this is the team, right? That is the team. <laughs> uh, without those ladies, this isn't possible. Uh, they work so hard behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. Um, it starts now, preparing, and uh, that weekend of the tournament is just yeah. It's exhausting, but it's fun and it's rewarding. How did you get so many ladies in Swivel Sisters Fishing Club? How did you do that? <laughs> we're just fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just a, a group of ladies with the same goal. You know, it's connecting women to outdoors mm -hmm. or to water. And, you know, we call ourselves a fishing club, but we're really not. We do everything. Yeah. Uh, we kayak, we fish, scuba dive, snorkel, we go boating. We take trips, you know, and it's just a fun place where you can come and learn and make friends. And so many women that never knew each other, you know, yeah. now are best friends. Yeah, and they don't have to be great fishermen to just come in there. To you don't have to know them. anything. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we have lessons where they can learn individually yeah. with that. And then we have group activities. So just a fun environment to be a part cool. of. That's awesome. Okay, we're getting ready for our final break. And uh, so, Christian Mack, well, you'll be leaving, but you're going to stay on? Okay. I'm going to stay on and okay. uh, bring in Gina. Next time you come on, I want you to tell some sister stories about growing okay. up. Okay, I'll, I will. I will. <laughs> okay, quick break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We're in our final segment today. We're really enjoying having the Swivel Sisters with us. So let's take a look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. Our time, 7.45 to 9.45, and 8.16 to 10.16 tonight. Uh, can we interview, uh, can we introduce our next guest for the interview? <laughs> All right? This is Gina Zimmerman. Okay. AKA, she's got a, a lot of other aliases. <laughs> she is the self-proclaimed mayor of Highland View. The mayor of Highland View. And this year she's going to be uh, hackling our mullet toss. Okay. <laughs> Folks, if you haven't seen the mullet toss, this is a great time to go see because I, every year I just go, I, I, they let me throw some last year. Tell us about it. Okay. So the mullet toss is you're going to come up and you're going to grab you one of them nice slimy mullet and you're going to These jump are real that. mullet. These are real mullet. It's not rubber mullet. And you're going to throw it as far as you possibly can. <laughs> okay. And you're going to win cash if you win the furthest. So, we have three divisions. We have a children, women's, and men's division. And you win cash money for the furthest throw, each division, and a nice trophy. Um, but you better be good at it. If not, I'm going to call you out. Well, and more important than the trophy and, and the money is your self-proclaimed first place and the mud at all. So, I mean, that, right. you don't get any better than right. that to put on that resume when you apply for the next job. Uh, Listen, can it be on what day now? It, the mullet toss will be on Friday at our captain's meeting. Okay. If you've never thrown a mullet and you're just visiting our beautiful area, stop by and chunk you one and see how so far what, you can What get. time will that be? We'll roughly. start that around, um, probably right around 5.30. Okay. Uh, the captain's meeting is from 5 to 7. Okay. Um, that'll be the last time you can register if you didn't get pre-registered. Okay. And then uh, we'll start that mullet toss from about 5.30 to 6.30. And then we'll end it with our final announcements and our blessing of the tournament by Clint and Mark Moore. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that'll be over. But we've always had the mullet toss on Saturday, and right. it's never really been highlighted. So this year, we decided we wanted to highlight that mullet toss and move it to Friday and uh, get a lot more participation in because it it's a fun event. I will say that... Uh before I became a Swivel Sister and we took over the Bayou Bash, I've heard stories of the mullet toss. Yeah. Um, and I heard one particular story was some people were coming through in a limousine 
and the women had evening gowns on and the men had tuxes. Mm -hmm. And they got out and threw mullet down oh. 98. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was there. I saw it. You saw that happen. Yes. Wow. I love it. They just stopped and wanted to be a part yeah. of it. And well, real quick, give what some good techniques when you, you do underhand, overhand. How, how, what have you seen when you've been doing it? What? Well, I have seen them fold the mullet. Ah. Oh. And throw it. And I've heard that you hold it like a football. Uh huh. Um. Then I've heard some say, you put a spin on it. So. <laughs> what? I tell you, go get some money this weekend. Y'all practice. <laughs> practice at home in the backyard. So be all geared up to go. OK, look, we've got a couple more pictures. Uh, real quick, let's uh, uh, talk about this picture right here. What we got? So that's our Waymaster. That's Henry Boone. Uh, he's a lifelong resident of Gulf County. He's been doing our weigh-in uh, since we started it five years ago. And uh, he does a great job. Uh, but he comes in, you weigh in. and. He makes sure that all the fish are legal because all fish have to be within yeah. FWC regulations. And he's a hoot just to talk to. Yes, I, he I is. Mean, he is funny. Okay. <laughs> all right. uh, that's a table full of the trophies. Uh, we give out a first place trophy, an inshore uh, slam trophy, and then when we decide what the mystery fish is, that's not announced until the captain's meeting. Okay. Uh, we'll have a trophy for the mystery fish as well. That's beautiful trophies. Uh, just one of the families that entered, uh, they all four participated. We just wanted to show, you know, it's a great time for families and friends to get together and fish and bring the kids along because we have great prizes for them as well. And they did. That's a good, a good catch is right there. Yeah. Okay. And then this is just one of the participants showing off. He had a really great flounder. That's a nice flounder. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't even think he got on the board with that red. It looks like one spot there. Right. but. <laughs> Well, that's really interesting. You're doing spots on the red. That's yeah. gonna be cool because you catch a small one and win it. That's yeah. Cool. In fact, I, I'm pretty sure last year's was two pounds under the heaviest. I think it was, yeah. And uh, but it had the most spots. So. Okay, I got a minute or two left, and we'll cover. You wanted to make sure about the March Madness. Yes. Yeah, so about that. March the first kicks off what we consider March Madness. Mm -hmm. So the tournament, uh, it's sixty dollars. That puts you for adults. That puts you in every category, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, it's 20 for the kids, and then it's an extra 20 if you want the mystery fish, okay? okay? But right now during March Madness, if you sign up during the month of March, it's all half off. So adults can get the registration for 30, kids 10, and you can sign up for the mystery fish for 10. That's cool. Um, you can go online to swivelsisters.org under our events. It has the pre-registration form, and you can see all the rules. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and find information there, but you can drop off registrations if you're over in the Gulf County area at Mexico Beach Marina or St. Joe Shrimp in Simmons Bow. You okay. can um, email uh, them all right. or mail them. All right. We've run out of time. I knew we would, but when y'all come <laughs> on, it's always a delight having y'all, really. Well, thank and you for having so us. We're so looking forward to it. Yes. And it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we'll talk about it a lot more before now at our first weekend of May, but go ahead and register. And, the weigh-in itself, what time would it start? Weigh-in starts at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, okay. And a lot of people just come to weigh-in. But thank you all so much for coming over. And, yeah, uh, thanks for having us. I appreciate you all doing this, too. Come Thanks. throw a mullet with me. Come throw a mullet, okay? <laughs> uh, honey, what, uh, on Friday, a lot of times, Gail and I said, what are we going to do tonight? I said, honey, let's go throw a mullet. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's, your date. That's your date for the weekend. <laughs> let's go throw a mullet. Uh, thank you all so much. Folks, we appreciate you watching Panhandle Outdoors and support events like this. It all goes to a good cause, and it's fun. It's just like that. Y'all do something good for someone else today. Have a great day. Enjoy the outdoors. Take care of it, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.